nothing like growing up in Rockville and going to Richard Montgomery High School and coming back and being a local guy, making it so good as manager of the Nationals. That's the story of Jim Riggleman. It is really special. Uh, you know, my, my brothers are here. Uh, of course, my mother is, is in the area. And uh, so many friends that I went to high school with and stuff and played ball with from Little League on who are still in the area. And it, it's really special. And, and you know, I've, I've been in the game now professionally for uh, over 36 years. So, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm certainly closer to the end than I am the beginning. And it's just been a, a, a real coincidence that I ended up in Washington. But it's uh, been kind of divine intervention because this would be the ideal place for me to end my professional baseball career right here in Washington. Did your coach at Richard Montgomery, was he the guy that kind of instilled upon you the fact that you can do anything you want to do with baseball? Well, Hank Miles was the coach, and he was a great baseball man, uh, University of Maryland uh, graduate and played at Maryland, and uh, just a, a real good teacher of the game, loved the game. Uh, uh, his teams were always top-notch, and it was you were very proud to play on the ball club with Hank Miles. So uh, he, he really instilled a lot of uh, work ethic and discipline in, in all of the guys and uh, we all cherish those times with him and respect him so much for what he did for us and you know it was kind of like the, the the era you know the, the athletic sure. department the heads of the athletic department everybody respected him like you like you did the principal of the school and uh, it, it was just a great era to grow up in Rockville Maryland how about at Frostburg how about up there anybody a big influence on you up there? Uh, yeah definitely coach Bob Wells at Frostburg oh, sure. uh, he comes down here and catches a game now and then he's he was a big Dodger fan and it was a big thrill for him when I was drafted by the Dodgers out of Frostburg and uh, tremendous teacher of the game. Uh, left no stone unturned in terms of uh, how to win a ball game, went out of the box a lot in his, in his methods to, to play the game and win the game and, and manage the game and uh, just uh, did it with a uh, sense of humor and with uh, uh, and passion and respect from the players that is, is a hard combination to have to be that in charge, that disciplined, but still have a great sense of humor to lead the ball club with. And as a manager, who did you mold your style after? Or did you? Or is this your own style? Well, I, I think, you know, I think most managers in the game have somebody that they, they try to emulate a little bit. And, and I, I haven't tried to emulate anybody because those, those people, those such successful guys uh, are in such a different class that, uh, you know, you don't even want to hardly mention your name with them. But the guy who impressed me the most as I uh, watched him work was Whitey Herzog. And, and Whitey and I are, are, are very close friends. I was fortunate to coach on his staff. And uh, uh, I, I owe so much of what I have at the major league level to Whitey Herzog. He brought me to the big leagues as a coach. Uh, he spoke on my behalf a couple times. And uh, just really uh, a, a tremendous baseball man, a great mind for the game, just a, a wonderful man to be around in the game. And, and I, I miss him in the game. I wish he would find a way back in the game because he, his influence is still needed. And I think the same can be said about you. Great to have you here, too. Believe me. Thanks, Johnny. I appreciate it.